so many wonderful recipes, y'all, that I share with you on Paula Dean's Love and Best Dishes comes from my magazine uh, because I love my kitchen team with my magazine. They're so good. They're so inner, inner, uh, innovative. <laughs> Did I say that right? Innovative. <laughs> I don't want to get my merds mixed up. Uh, so I'm sharing with y'all the cream, creamed greens and onion macaroni and cheese. So I'm just going to start by cooking the macaroni. And, uh, I can't pronounce that. Eddie, can you? Or a T T T T T. I don't know that I've heard of that. I don't either. But this is what it looks like. Looks like a little uh, seashell. You know that we see so many of those when we're walking on the beach. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, cook that. So I'm going to heat up my cast Dutch oven and. Uh, I'm going to add my butter, and then I'm going to add country ham, and I'm going to cook that until our country ham is kind of a nice brown. Just brown it off a little bit. Now, with us using country ham in this recipe, uh, I want you to remember that country ham is very, very, very salty. So. You want to make sure you undersalt rather than oversalt. And plus your cheese. Your cheese has a lot of salt in it. And your butter, because I use salted butter. That's just my favorite. Even if I'm making uh, sweet dishes like my cakes, I always use uh, salted butter. Okay, so I'm going to need another spoon. And we're just going to put that in our skillet and brown it off. And it won't take but a few minutes. Okay, so about five minutes on our country ham. Now I'm going to add a teaspoon of garlic, one and a half tablespoons of rosemary, And that rosemary is fixing to burst in our nostrils. If I can smell anything today, I'll enjoy the smell. All right, now we're coming in with our purple onion. And we're going to stir all of our ingredients together. Make sure they're all coated good in that butter and a little bit of fat that has rendered out from the country ham. All right. So we're going to cover this. And we're going to let it cook, gosh, probably eight minutes, maybe eight minutes. But I'm going to come back and I'm going to stir it occasionally. All right, y'all, this has been about eight minutes cooking. And now I'm going to stir in our flour, which is going to be our little thickening agent. And we'll cook this for a couple of minutes. I'm going to turn that heat down just a wee little bit. Now this, uh, this recipe, y'all, you know, we have to, in this world we live in today, we have to learn to improvise, uh, especially when you can't find products. And this one called for, uh, <coughs> excuse me, this called for Swiss chard. And Teresa went to the grocery store and she said it was organic and it looked perfectly awful, the Swiss chard. So she picked up kale which I think all of those greens can be uh, intertwined. Okay, this is beginning to stick because we added that flour. 
So I'm going to turn this down real low. Our pasta has been cooking for about 11 minutes. And I like to cook my pasta done, especially when it's going into some type of casserole. Uh, because if it's not done, it's going to keep absorbing the liquid to finish cooking. And then your, your dish is going to be dry. So I want to make sure that, that mine is done. And it won't want anything else to drink. Okay, so that's the flour. And now I'm going to have to remind myself. Uh, the milk is going to go next. I've got two cups of milk. And I'm going to slowly add to our onion and ham mixture with the rosemary and the garlic. All right, so now I'm going to slowly add a cup and a half of our Fontina cheese. And then I'm holding out a little bit so I can cheese the top. Okay, now I'm going to stir in kale. Slowly. And it calls for one bunch of Swiss chard, y'all. So I'm going to try to try to guess. How much kale would be used equaling one bunch of Swiss chard? This is where I'm going to be guessing. I don't think we're going to need a full pound of pasta. So that's two heaping cups. Three heaping cups of cooked pasta so far. Because this is going to get thicker as it bakes in the oven. Now, I don't know about you, Eddie, but three heaping cups of pasta looks pretty good to me. Because I want it moist. What do you think? Because when, when I cook our macaroni and cheese, there's... Uh, It's got a little soup to it. Yeah, because I don't, I don't want it dry. So I think I may stop right there. Or maybe, let's go three and a half cups. And I'm definitely stopping with that. That kale looks beautiful in there, doesn't it? Along with the country ham. Smells good. Yes. So this is going into our oven, y'all. Uh, well, I plan on baking this at 350 until it's hot and bubbly. And then towards the end, I'm going to top it with more cheese. Y'all, I've chosen not to add any salt uh, because of the reasons I told y'all earlier. But I am going to top it with some fresh ground pepper. And the eater can determine whether they want more salt or not. Always add more. 
but you can't take it out. All right, y'all, I opted to put three and a half cups, and they were pretty kind of like keeping, uh, and the recipe called for the whole pack, but I like my macaroni and cheese juicy, and so that was the call I made. So when it depends, when you go to make this, it really depends on if you want a drier one, or a wetter one, like I like. So that is the last of the Fontina cheese. And that's gonna stay, probably take five minutes for that to melt. This is cooled down enough now for me to taste it. And I think that I made the right call on the amount of pasta that I put in because it's a little creamy, not totally dry. So make that call yourself, y'all, however you like it. So here we go. It looks and smells delicious. The rosemary in it was just delicious smelling. Mm. Interesting flavors, y'all. I wish that we had had the Swiss chard, but we didn't. But the uh, the kale works out really good too. It's a whole new taste, the macaroni and cheese, y'all. And I hope you like it. I know I like it. Loving best dishes, y'all. Hey, y'all, it's Paula Dean. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes, y'all.